which of the following may be considered as the scope of nursing research a clinical nursing practices b nursing education and administration c health system and outcomes of care d all of the above and the correct answer is d all of the above all of the mentioned areas fall under the scope of nursing research these include clinical practice education administration and health system outcomes the final step of the research process for a researcher is to a analyze the data b interpret the findings c communicate the findings d developing conceptual framework and the correct answer is c communicate the findings communicating the findings is essential as it allows others to benefit from the research it is the final step in the research process which of the following is characteristic of qualitative research a generalization to the population b random sampling c unique case orientation d standardized tests and measures and the correct answer is c unique case orientation qualitative research focuses on the in depth study of specific cases or contests it does not aim for broad generalization but emphasizes unique case details which of the following is not an element of an informed consent a purpose of study b subject selection process c offer answers only for selected questions d alternative procedures if any are disclosed and the correct answer is c offer answers only for selected questions informed consent involves clear communication of study purposes and procedures but does not restrict answering only selected questions a process in which no one including the researcher can link participants with the data they provide is known as a confidentiality b connubiality c unknown data collection d anonymity and the correct answer is a confidentiality confidentiality is the process in which no one including the researcher can link participants with the data they provide a meeting with research participants that ensures their understanding of the reasons and the justification for the procedures used in the study is known as a debriefing b research meeting c explanation d justification meeting and the correct answer is a debriefing debriefing is a meeting held with participants after a study to explain the purpose and procedures used ensuring clarity which of the following is least likely to be provided for participants in a research study a informed consent b anonymity c confidentiality d singularity and the correct answer is d singularity singularity is not a common term in research ethics 
anonymity and confidentiality are more typical protections provided to participants what is the name of the process used to obtain a 9 year old child's agreement for participation in the study a assent b consent of a minor c informed agreement d none of the above and the correct answer is a assent assent is the process by which minors agree to participate in research though parental consent is also required Which of the following is not a step of quantitative research process? A formulation of research problem, B review of literature, C formulation of hypothesis, D meta analysis of research study. And the correct answer is D meta analysis of research study. Meta analysis is a method of reviewing existing studies. not a step in the primary research process itself which of the following is only the step of qualitative research process a entry in research setting b selecting a large sample size c developing structured tool for data collection d data analysis using inferential statistics and the correct answer is a entry in research setting qualitative research typically involves immersion in the research setting to collect data first hand Which of the following organizations has a developed policy statement on ethical considerations involved in research on human subjects in India which is currently known as Code of Ethics for Biomedical Research A Indian Nursing Council B Indian Council of Medical Research C Medical Council of India D Trained Nurses Association of India And the correct answer is B Indian Council of Medical Research The Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR is responsible for creating guidelines for ethical biomedical research in India Which of the following is authorized to grant permission for conducting a drug trial in India? A Indian Council of Medical Research B Medical Council of India C Indian Nursing Council D Drug Controller General of India And the correct answer is D Drug Controller General of India The Drug Controller General of India is the regulatory authority responsible for approving drug trials. Which of the following is considered as the first step of quantitative research process? A determine study objects, B formulation of research problem, C review of literature D selecting appropriate research design and the correct answer is B formulation of research problem The first step in any research process is identifying the problem or question the research will address Code of Ethics for Nurses in India is given by which of the following organizations 
A. Indian Nursing Council B. Indian Nurses Association C. Trained Nurses Association of India D. Nursing Research Society of India And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.